All right, it's time. Dude, we've been waiting for this Damn, one for so long. Boy. All right, boys. Read them and weep. No ass car here. No, not here. No, sir. Not today. I already know. Yes, sir. Mm, let's go. That's right, baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, I'm getting set off into space. Yo, relax. All good. We're going to build it right now. Let's go. What the f I don't own any circles? What? No shot, man. All right, well. Hello, Dormammu. I've come to bargain. Okay, so as far as her build goes, right? What, what are we going to call it? This is our uh, tentative uh, build stats, right? We're missing a little bit of crit because uh, I do plan on full imprinting her if she's good, which will put her at max. I think you should come close to 15k HP, right? That should let you survive a lot of Rimuru S3s and it should let you survive some Huayon S1s. Uh, and then meanwhile, um, you're being sustained by Soul Weavers. So on top of that, I think if you're going speed set, uh, you probably just run book, right? There's almost no value artifact that's better than book. But if you go lifesteal, I think you have a couple of options, right? I think you could stay on book. You can even run chatty. I think chatty would be pretty strong on her, especially with her stacking attack and um, being able to sustain herself with AoE. The only reason she needs any bulk at all is to survive extra damage, right? So if you think about stuff that penetrates 70% of defense, right? Like Uberius and Rimuru extra damage. Rimuru extra damage is true damage. It penetrates 100%. Uberius tooth penetrates by 70%. So defense is kind of a pointless stat on her. How is she? I guess we'll find out right now. Let's run her on bottom team. So like the, the ideal scenario for her, I imagine would be something like this. Um, if anything, we can even do something like this to like really make it safe. Okay. Mm, I think I pass. All right. I, I want to see how she runs this, especially against APOC. Can't spare the resource unless she really pops off. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so... So far, that's kind of like the job, right? You shouldn't have come here. Now it's too late to escape. She unironically is so fucking good with hand guy. I probably shouldn't be stunning the A-Ravi, that's kind of a misplay. Yeah, and we need uh, we need her S2 to proc. You know, honestly, I low-key expected the flush to just keep going, like on Green Vivian. Wait, that proc'd our insight, right? Okay, that, that kind of jacked our buffs. Who isn't good with hand guy? That's, that's fair. Lower damage than Green Vivian? Yeah, but my build also isn't nearly as much damage as a Green Vivian. Okay, I really need to stop stunning this A-Ravi. Okay, hit my Vivian please. Insight? Yes, sir. Oh, wait. And we're back. Okay. Let's see how this healing is. I actually really like her design overall. As a whole, I think she's pretty strong. Yeah, she really does look so strong to bait like all the A-Ravis and all the dark DPS units. Having her on high speed, right? Because if you think about it, she gives herself speed buff with S1. Having her on high speed, all right, we're just gonna soul burn that for fun. Like, I don't think her damage is insane, but she really just loops a lot of damage. How's the new Soul Weaver? Uh, haven't had the chance to summon her yet. I, I actually does think she scaled really well with speed. It's one of those cases where you probably want to be as fast as you can be. The, the problem is she AoEs without cannot be counterattacked, which I think is pretty detrimental. Counter procs are focused, which is good. Factual. Holy moly. She scales really well with barriers. Oh my god. Like, she scales pretty insane with barriers. Yeah, and she does need high speed. I think she's hard forcible into Huayang and Rimuru. You probably either take Chatty or you take something that can give her a fatty barrier. And I think she's perfectly fine. 
But you have to make sure they don't ban your mitigator or else you're kind of uh, shit out of luck. Her passive works against proc damage? It doesn't. Yeah, she seems like she's really good in tank down. This is pretty crazy because they finally gave tank down a worthy hero to play with. Okay, I have to kill Belly because not being able to soul burn kind of feels ass. So Rimuru just kills her? Yeah, if you don't build um, innate ways to survive against Rimuru, um, she's pretty bad. Yeah, and because of the way her damage reduction works, I actually think she's... She doesn't really care about injury. God Barrier, Aureus, and Ice Crystal synergy? Okay. Am I dead? <gasps> Brook! Brook! Not like this! Oh no! Oh! No! Man. Match. Alright, well, it, it, it's RTA time. Give me out. Give me out. Wow, okay, that doesn't do anything. Whoops. You know, I thought that might have killed with Vigor. It's a little unfortunate. I'll spend by 1% too. Mm, so my FCC should have a certain amount of Fefros. Kind of helped us overcome this a bit. Yeah, I think you do go a little bit faster though. Right? And then you can play her kind of before your other DPS units. He dead. Holy, that is fast. <laughs> I'm in danger. Okay, so Vivian needs to solo carry that then. That did take all his soul, so so that's fine. I'm joking. I'm joking. Stop, stop, stop. Huh. He kicks that CC here, right? Or just was one. That's fine. Hey, I should not press that. Actually, no, that blocks some damage, which is fine. Problem is, in one more attack, she eats my souls again. So I have to hit here. This hero is strong in a lot of ways, but she's also weak in a lot of ways. She does, she does start to look like she needs that life steal though. This this drains two stacks. Alencia drains one. I think I'm dead. Extra attacks are actually pretty good against her. I don't know if he's realized yet. He like inadvertently picked the comp that really counters Vivian. I think I'm dead here, right? Because he kicks the extra damage kills. That's not the right move. That is the opposite of the move he needed to take, but I think I still die. Yeah, I need the last two molas. Oh boy. I see. All right, I get this first then. I think that's fine, right? The only worry I have with something like that is like, why did he soul burn that with no attack buff? I'm so confused on what- Okay, you deserve that one. Oh wait! You're right! I could've just killed the Stenny! Whoops! No, no, I'm, I'm just gonna BM him. I'm not gonna even, like, hit the Stenny. With that, maybe we will. Just for fun? Yeah. You're, you're right, you're right. Like, how often do we get hit, hit a Stenny directly, right? This is gonna end our, uh, this is gonna end our speed set test. I, I think this set, right, is probably a little too greedy. Like, I have too much HP here. So, uh, ideal stat line, we're gonna drop, like, maybe 2,000 HP or so, right? Because I think so far, things that aren't gonna kill her aren't gonna kill her. And things that are going to kill her is gonna be able to kill her pretty easily anyway. I think this damage is okay, but she definitely like more. Uh, her S3 scales really hard with damage. I think speed wise, like this speed is pretty comfortable, right? Because no matter what, um, she's still a crit damage buff um, giver. So she scales pretty well with other DPS too. So you kind of have to speed to her in a way where she's not like the slowest unit. If you want to play aggressively with her, I think she's okay with book. At first, I thought you might go chatty to play her into Bellion, but into Bellion and you can't soul burn. She feels pretty terrible to play anyway. So I think on speed, you might as well just play her on book and just turn her into like an aggressive support. 
I think that's probably where she'll shine the most. I think she's really good into raw damage matchups. She has a few very specific bad matchups, right? She's pretty bad into Bellion because she wants a soul burn as often as she can. She's pretty bad into Solitarian and Archdemon. Okay into Huayang, it's not ideal, but she doesn't auto lose into Huayang, right? And Rimuru, of course, uh, still hits her with the fixed damage. So having a little bit of bulk helps her survive a good amount of that. But I think with my current stat line, she's looking a little bit overcommitted. Um, so we're probably going to retool for a bit and then we're going to um, test her with lifesteal. Why hand guys at a DJB? Because uh, attack up, crit damage up is really strong together. I think it's this first. And then we attack break LQC. All right, so a Rob, we have the 50% chance to survive this. Oh, we went on hand guy. What the fuck? High defense is pretty, pretty poor value. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance I might just get shit on by LQC splash right now. So we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. He kind of greets that. Interesting. Wait, I actually want to see this damage. Maybe I should have just slammed an L LQC instead. Oh god, we're barely hanging on. He provokes Vivian here, right? He needs to stop me. I guess enjoy another turn. Wait, is her S1 soul burn? Like, yeah, it doesn't flush. It just spins. It's just kind of cool looking. I figured the punishment to the greeting the LQC is just getting permanently tagged with attack down. That's pretty crazy. Even at like base 200 speed with speed up, she laps so many things. She cycles really well. Let's see. Love the speed tuning. Love fast FCCs, man. Fast FCCs are crack. I do lose a turn on one of my carries though, because uh, cause he has Denny stun. It's a bit annoying. Did he just run that on my Vivian? Like, okay, I don't mind losing a turn on that. I wanted to make sure I got my Vivian turn. He didn't time out, he pressed that manually. Didn't crit a bunch of things, but that's fine. I don't die here. He can't off-sig that, bro. Ain't no way. That's what I'm thinking. Injury doesn't even do anything there. Oh, wait. Oh, I take so much damage now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Steny kills me. I'm actually fairly sure that dual attack fucked me, because the Steny kills me now. Man. He soul burns my- the Steny kills me. Unfortunate. Ah. <sighs> what did he do? Apparently winning the game, because he burned my stacks. Like, I'm pretty sure we lost six games to that today already. What was my Vivian stats? Yeah, this is what I'm running right now. Earlier, we're running like a 240 version of this with less damage. Uh, a lot more bulk, but I think the bulk is kind of unnecessary because you don't want to be taking too much. Um, you don't want to be taking too much like Rimuru Huaya anyway. Like, you're playing around that. So, like, I actually, I actually think this is a pretty good place to wrap this up. Because I, I do plan on playing Sharoon after this, right? I think if you play aggressive and you play cleave, she go, like, 240, 250 speed, high damage, 11, 12, 11, like, you want 11 and a half K HP. Because a standard Huayang with an attack up, um, after the S1 tick, does about, like, 11 K. So you want to be able to survive that for sure. Um, I, I've tested a few artifacts now. I think in any case, Book is still the best artifact for her. Even though you can force her into Bellion, right? Forcing her into Bellion feels terrible. So no matter what, you're going to pre-ban Bellion anyway. And if you're going to pre-ban Bellion, she might as well be on Book, because that way you get two flushes for free, right? And on top of that, she can kind of enable very aggressive combos with fast soul weavers, right? So if you're playing DN, right, um, you can just drop like an Eda last, right? And you can also play Pavel with her. Right, that just gives you so many more options to be aggressive. So once again, this is another mage that's just insane on book. Uh, now, if you don't play aggressive, right, you're mostly playing slow. I think tank down, she's really good too. All right, she's actually like pretty playable in a lot of comps. You can play her in cleave as an anchor, right? We saw that earlier, it didn't do too well, but it's definitely something you can do because she doesn't die to a Ravi. You can kind of hide other units, stealth units behind her as well, because she's just very resistant to damage. Very weak to crowd control though, so keep that in mind. If you get green slate Wanderer Soak cleaved, you ban the Wanderer Soak, as long as they don't have crowd control, she's fine. And I will definitely keep immunity on her. For testing purposes, we didn't have immunity today, but there were a few matchups where, um, if you know, we had a Ran or a Hand Guy provide the immunity, 
She was very clutch there. Chief reason nobody runs immunity anymore on, as a default on every unit is because of Rimuru, and you're trying to dodge that matchup anyway. Might as well go immunity, right? Can't hurt. And as far as lifesteal goes, I think it's great value, right? S3 basically puts you back at full with crit damage up. S1 puts you at full. So overall, I think she's pretty strong, but her, her weaknesses are very blatant. She's really weak to crowd control and she's really bad to extra damage. And as far as like gameplay goes, I think she's really, really fun, right? At, at the very least, she's a fun hero. Uh, you pop her, watch her, never take any damage, and then you rip. So yeah, th those are kind of like my thoughts on her. Um, 